Well, folks, today is a very nice, clear, sunny day today. And I'm going to be showing you a little something I got from a, a, a friend of mine, Christine Taylor. Some of you know how I like to play with Fresnel lenses and melt stuff. Well, after she took me on a tour of her marble collection, I was talking about Fresnel lenses. She gave me this really, really huge 62-inch crystal clear spot Fresnel lens. This is the biggest lens I've ever seen. This thing is extremely powerful. It's more powerful than that little 48-inch or I... That used to be a linear that could that converge to a spot lens. But uh, this here in here, this was already a spot lens. And this thing is crystal clear. And look at the light pattern on the ground. Look how bright that is. And this thing has no problem at all melting volcanic lava, glass, and other stuff. And the focal point is a little bigger, too. I'm going to show you how hot this thing is. Got a piece of pine here. Watch this. Look at that. That's insane. Ready? And listen to that. Little flecks of stuff floating around now. Look at that. Just my 48 inch lens will do that as well. But this thing here, it has it way more. This thing's much more powerful than my 48 inch lens. And you can see why it's so much bigger, more surface area. Look at that, that's just like, that's intense. 3,500 degrees there, possibly at that focal point. You can write with this thing, look at this. That's insane how hot this thing is. Now I'm going to put the camera on this uh, hunk of lava rock here. You can see what it does here. Maybe hard to tell on the, ca the camera there, but it's the lava is boiling and bubbling and it's melting very fast. Look at this. It's definitely a lot more powerful than that 48 inch lens I, I used to use. Just like that is a molten puddle of lava right there. The focal point of this thing is big enough where if I want to, I can melt glass down and if I had a, a hunk of steel with a hemisphere shaped pocket in it, I could probably make, make my own handmade marbles. And speaking of marbles right now, I would love to have a lens right now, like that's the same color as this one, but I'd like to have one 10 foot square. Why so big, some may ask. Well, simple. That lens that big, you have much higher temperatures at the focal point, and you also would have a focal point possibly several inches across. And with that being said, you can probably melt the entire bottle down and stick a metal rod into it, roll the glass out into a cane, and start pinching off spheres and make marbles out of that. That'd be so awesome. I'd like to be able to make my own marbles with something like this. A lot of people use ferns and stuff. I'd like to use, use this because it is, it is doable. And I'll show you the other lens I used to use. Some might remember this one here. I'll be back here in a moment. Okay, here's the 48 lens, inch lens I used to use. And this one here started out life as a linear lens. At the front side of it right here, normally it was, this had linear grooves in it, but I took sandpaper, real fine grit sandpaper, a little water, and I sanded the grooves out. And I polished it with a buffer and a plastic polish. In fact, I got another lens just like this one here, same size, and it's got the same Fresnel pattern and the same clarity, and, and here it is right here. A co-worker of mine gave me this one here at work. Made by the same manufacturer. Made this other lint. Made that one there. The reason I can tell because the way the Fresnel rings look in, it's real thick too. It hasn't been sand polished yet, but I'll tell you what I mean by a linear. Let me hand this way. You don't hear nothing. Listen to this. There's fine grooves that runs up and down the length of that lens. 
All one's got to do is take this thing, clamp it to a table type with the Fresnel side down, then put a little water on the back of the front side, and use some uh, fine grit sandpaper and sand it out and go to higher and higher grits. Then put some plastic polish on that and get a buffer and push and then buff it out and and boom you got a spot lens. This is a real nice clear linear lens. This will start fires pretty well too. I'll see if I can get to do it right here. This one. Get the wood here. Let's see what we got here. It's kind of hard to hold my hand, but there it goes. But you can see how the focal point looks, having a dot, it's a line. That's what a linear lens looks like right there. And I got another one that's a 51 inch. That came out of an old Hitachi, but that one there, I'm going to keep it as it is for cooking hot dogs. But this one here, this one here though, I'm going to sand it later on down the road. I'm going to sand and polish the linear side of it out and turn it to a spot lens. And take this up to the cottage, leave it there. But yeah, that's the 62 inch spot for now. This is the crowning jewel of my for now lens is my biggest and best one ever But now I'd like to find get one that's 10 foot square That way I can melt marbles and just say with a bigger with a 10 footer that I'd be able to take The hunk of lava and stick the whole thing in there in the focal point and the whole thing would melt into a blob of molten lava That's what happened, but look at how the light pattern looks you can tell how, how crisp that is That's that's what you want when you have a real nice crisp clear spot lens this thing's awesome, so... Later.